So hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, I can't believe that it's been uh, almost eight months since I last did any um, serious modelling. Um, so the last episode um, in this series looking at turning um, the model of uh, Reneus, the Backman and Friends, uh, Backman Thomas and Friends Reneus model, into um, a better representation of Dolgok, went out on I think the fourth of December last year. And at the end of the video, I said. Um, we'd have a look at pipe work or or, or or something um i can't quite remember what um in next week's video um as i say next week turned into about eight months later um and i've literally done almost no modeling then that time um it's not that i've been doing lots and, and just not um not making videos um it's just uh, life and and other other things have got in the way but um but this week I've managed to do a little bit um, on on this 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 build, so I thought I'd update um, everyone of where we were, and hopefully um, over the summer um, I will get time to do a little bit more. Um, so let's have a look at this footplate first. Um, there's not a huge amount done since the last video, so the last video was looking at uh, the lubricators, which um, sit on the footplate at the front here. And I originally um, drilled holes where uh, the white filler is. Um, and um, after posting the video, uh, a couple of people uh, got in touch to say that um, they probably were, weren't quite in the right place. Um, so I drilled them so that they were directly in line, vertically in line with the center of the buffer, uh, of each buffer um, head. And I put the drill up into the back of the, buff, the buffer beam, being able to see the drill bit through the, the little hole uh, and drill drilled through. Uh, but because of course they are lubricators for the cylinders and the cylinders are further out, um, those holes are way too uh, far in. So um, if you have a look now, um, you can see that I've drilled two new holes and filled in the old ones. I haven't repainted yet, hence you can still see the white filler. Um, so I've moved each one out by about two millimeters. So um, that's four, well, about six inches on the real thing, um, at four millimeters to the foot scale, um, and yeah, I think they're in a much better, much better position. The lubricators themselves are in the bag of bits at the moment, but um, I have tried them in the holes, and I think they, they look better. So this has been, yeah, I mean you can see it's been sanded down and filed flat, so it just needs um, another repaint um, with some black uh, primer again, and then that piece should be. Uh, good to go. I don't think there's much else that needs uh, doing to this now. It's just a question of uh, refitting and everything. But it's got bashed about anyway in the box since it was last last looked at. So um, definitely needs uh, a bit of a repaint anyway. So um, yeah, not the end of the not the end of the world. I'll give it another spray of black, uh, and then we can move on from that. Um, <clears throat> but that didn't seem two holes didn't seem enough uh, for a video. So I found some time to do a bit more to the body casting. So when we last looked at this. Um, I can't actually remember whether I'd mentioned I should go, should have gone back and watched the videos but um, as I say I don't, didn't have huge amounts of time um, but I've milled off the coal load uh, and put a plate on the top to make that nice and smooth um, getting into the corners with the mill uh, was difficult so in the end I've done exactly what I did on um, on the tallied in build which was to um, plate it over once I'd, once, I'd, um, once I'd milled out the coal and that will, that will look fine when it's um, when it's all painted up. Uh, but what I've also done is gone and removed most of the remaining pipework. So uh, there was lots of pipework kind of molded into the into the body. So there was um, a pipe um, that ran all the way along here uh, into the smoke box. That was for the, for the blower. Um, there's actually there was actually one on this side as well. But looking at photos um, in the book we were using, so this um, railway adventure. Uh, Tom uh, Tom Rolf's railway adventure book. Um, the at the time I'm trying to model, or around the time I'm trying to model, um, there was only a blower on one side. So I've I've um, drilled a hole where I can put the wire in, but then taken off the molded the molded wire or, or molded pipe or, or on this side, and I've taken off both the 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 pipe work entirely and not drilled a hole on this side. Uh, but I've drilled some other holes, so there are. Um, there are there is taps here, well taps valves whichever here and here on the side they come out they're part of the detailing kit um, so they come out of here 
and then run the pipe runs down to the foot plate. Um, and then there are two holes on the top here, which are new. Um, I didn't quite get them quite in the right place to get in the drill, so I've actually had to fill. There's a little bit of filler on this one. Um, but anyway, they should be they should be fine. But again, there is a, a tap stroke valve here and here, um, and the pipe work runs down the side on both of those. So they're all drilled. They're just pilot holes for now. I haven't opened them up uh, for the castings. They, uh, let me find my box of bits and I'll show you the castings are still um, on the in the bag so um, they are let me get them out it's easier if I can actually show you uh, let's look Ooh, I don't want to lose everything um, there we go so yeah so these bits here so you can see um, there is a little valve stroke tap type thing um, and a plate, so the plate, so this bit, this bar here, uh, these are the ones for the side of the tank, I believe. Um, yeah, so these go, this bar here goes through the hole, and then this pipe work runs down and needs cutting, so it's the right size, right length to to meet the foot plate at the bottom. And as I say, there's similar ones for here and here, and the pipe work runs down. Um, so they need they need working out yet uh, next, but again. Um, what I'll probably do is take them off the sprues, fit them, make sure the holes are the right size, uh, and then leave them off um, until I've fully, uh, until I've done the base paint. So um, that's what I did with Talilin. So most of the things like the handrails and stuff were left off until I'd done the base uh, black and green uh, base coats. Um, of paint and then I fitted all the details and then did the weathering and I'll probably do the same again it just makes it easier to get in with the with the airbrush and stuff behind pipework and stuff if it's not if it's not already fitted um, so yeah so but I, but I will I do need to obviously fit them all at least once to make sure the holes are the right size and that kind of thing so that'll be the be the next the next step but I think it's uh, I think it's coming together nicely um, as I say it's not a huge amount of work it's what one two three four five holes that's where the, the blower pipe is going to go uh, and then change to two holes here as well so not a lot of work um, but hopefully this is a, a start to get me um, back into do, doing some modeling as I said I've got some, a little bit of time now here and there over the summer um, I'm hoping to also find some time with my eldest son to get back to the four wheel battery electric loco that we were building together as a kit uh, the 16 millimeter scale one so that hopefully will be uh, videos on a number of uh, different models over the summer and hopefully um, continuing after the summer I'm, I'm hoping to try and continue the the one model uh, one video a week uh, type upload schedule that I'd um, kind of settled into um, prior to Christmas I can't believe I still can't believe it's been eight months but there we go um, so thanks for watching um, hopefully hopefully you're still around hopefully there are still people who are, are interested in the models after a gap of uh, of eight months we shall we shall see uh, but yeah, thanks. That's all for, for this time.